All right, let's see here. And, oh, I am on the phone. All righty. Well, everybody, let's see here. Welcome, everybody. Um, my name is Tomas. I am going to be able to show you guys today how to be able to use Propelio and what it can do for you. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just start off right here on the top right with the settings tab. As soon as you log in and create an account with Propelio, you're going to see it right here. Um, Want to start off with the settings tab. If we click on that right there, uh, a few things that you can do right here is my profile, my team, and plans and billing. So you have your profile right here. Uh, my team I want to start off with here is you can actually add within Propelio multiple users for no additional cost. Okay, and how you do that is all you have to do is start typing in an email address here. So if you wanted to start typing in a, a person's email, their first and last name, you can select their roles right here of what they can, they can actually have access to. Okay, and just to clarify a little bit on these roles is you can just scroll up here, right here under new role, you can click that role, start putting a name and a description to that role, and just start selecting what you'd like that team member to be able to have access to. Okay. Um, so if you'd like them to only have access to our deal alerts tool and our lead list tool, right, just click those two check boxes and they're set to go, okay? Um, like I said, these all, these all, as we go on throughout the demo, will start making more sense. Um, so if you're not sure what they mean, don't worry about it. We'll go and explain a little bit more here as we go on. Um, but make sure to save that role once you're done and your role will actually reappear right here at the bottom so you can check it once you're done, Okay. Uh, but for this one specifically, John Smith, I'm just going to set him and as, as an owner role. Um, this this role I, that is built um, mainly allows them to have access to anything you do as a paid subscriber, right? So then I'm going to go ahead and hit send invite. They will receive an email from Propelio asking them to join the team, uh, and then we'll be set to go, right? So here I have already three team members that I've actually added to uh, my account. I can go ahead and even show my disabled. So you can actually disable team members. So if you wanted to just click on John Smith, disable him at any time, you can do that and then they wouldn't be able to have access to the account no longer, okay? Um, but if I click show disabled, I already have some other people here that I can uh, bring back up, but I'm just gonna go and hide those again. But um, that's kind of where we're at with the team members. Once again, you can have multiple team members for no additional cost. It's all included within the membership. Uh, and there is no limit. So you can have 50,000 team members and I'm not going to hoot and holler about it. Okay. Um, so I start off with team members just so I can go ahead and show you now the dashboard side. So that's back over to our main screen here. Uh, I start off with, like I said, those team members so we can add them within the leads. So let's go ahead and add this property as a lead. Okay. We're going to, we're going to go ahead and click that right there. Add lead, start typing in a property address. So if you're wanting to run numbers on a property, maybe even just hold the property um, in here so that you can follow up with it later. You can do that. I've got one here in Hillcrest Drive in Rowlett, Texas. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit next right here. Instantly, Propelio is going to try and pull the public record data here on the right-hand side, okay? Um, this data is, has been pulled. We were now able to find it, and I want to be able to put it right here under our property facts. I can click this copy button. It'll actually move everything over here on the left-hand side for me. Uh, and then once I'm done, I can just go ahead and hit this save button and we'll actually be taken straight now over to our lead management page. Okay, right here I have the lead owner. So if I wanted to change it and just add it to, let's say, John Smith, that team member we entered in earlier, right? So now it's myself and John Smith that actually have uh, roles as part of this lead. So now it's myself and John Smith. We can work on this lead together. We are set to go. Um, here you have the Google Street View, which you can take a look at there. Uh, this is where that property is. You can even see what's going on in the neighborhood there. Um, here you have contacts where you can add contact information for this specific property, whether that's a contractor, seller, anything like that. You can add or remove any contact information here. Uh, tasks. This is going to be pretty simple. So you have any uh, reminders you'd like to set yourself. You can just go ahead and click add task right here. Say what needs to be done, all that fun stuff. Maybe even set a due date. Uh, and then it'll actually send you an email reminder when that property or when this task is due. Okay, uh, so you're you're set to go there, uh, and it'll even, like I said, have you reminder have a reminder for you on that specific property. 
okay? So then from there you have attachments, which you can add any attachments to the property here. Activity, just showing you who's been doing what with the lead. And you can even kind of have a conversation here with your team members if you want to do that also. Uh, and then property facts, financials, and then miscellaneous. These are all things that you can actually um, add uh, as more information comes in for that property, okay? So one thing I do want to point out here on the uh, on this screen is on the left here. You see leads under contract portfolio for sale and completed. These are actually considered. Um, we could I like to consider them as different folders, like you would on your computer. You have folders on your computer so that you can be able to uh, keep track of whatever you, you've got going on, right? So this is the same way. Right now, this property here, the one in Hillcrest Drive, is considered a lead. But if I wanted to move it to my under contract tab, let's say we just got it under contract today, I just have to go up here in the top right, click this blue lead button, click under contract, and it'll now drop it and bring it to my under contract tab. So if I ever click on it, you'll actually end up seeing that I only have one property under contract, which was that one. And then I can click here on leads, and you'll actually see every lead that I've ever inputted into the system. So it's just kind of a good way of keeping yourself organized there uh, for that. So I'm gonna click back over here on this property and just move that back as a lead here. Okay, um, let's go ahead and click this Run CMA button here. If you're wanting to start running comps on properties, you can start doing that right here. Once you see that green Run CMA, you know you can start running comps. We'll click on that right there. Uh, we'll be taken straight over now to a map view uh, which a few, with a few uh, data points. Uh, beds bass square footage is right here at the very top right, right? Uh, and then here on the criteria range, this is Propelio just giving you a range worth of data it's searching for based on this information up here, okay? So this is the range it gave us. These are the properties it was able to pull up. But let me go ahead and expand my criteria just a little bit more to start getting a little bit more data. And then just go ahead and hit search. Uh, and then once we do that, you'll actually get a map view straight with more um, points and more data that we can start looking at, right? One of the biggest questions we get asked all the time is what did the colors mean? Uh, very simple answer there, just click on that color and you'll actually see here that this is a sold property, okay? You'll see here if I click on the greenish blue here, this is an active listing, that means it's an active listing, right? That greenish color, and you can click here on the white, meaning that this is a canceled listing there, okay? Uh, so once you really know and find out more of those colors, um, they all stay the same, so then you have that blue over here. If I click on that, that is a pending listing, okay? So once you know they don't change, they all stay the same there. Uh, but let's go ahead and scroll down here more now to the, our list view. Uh, I'm down here under the sold properties where you can start seeing, you know, a little snippet information of each one of them. I can click on these links right here uh, and I can start looking at the photos of these properties as well, right? Um, and then a little bit more information on that specific property, which is pretty nice. So um, let's go ahead. We have a thumbs up, question mark, and thumbs down. What this means for us guys is that you can actually give it a thumbs up if you think it's comparable, question mark if you're not sure uh, about that property, maybe you want to come back to it, and then thumbs down meaning no, I don't think it's comparable at all, right? So let's go ahead and just give this one a thumbs down here. Uh, I'm not going to give you guys a fully accurate comp here, I'm just kind of showing you how the software is working. Um, so let's go ahead and just give it a couple of thumbs up, a couple thumbs downs here, uh, and then once we are set, right, uh, I'll just show you what we are looking at here. So start noticing the, these properties that we're giving a thumbs down are actually disappearing. Um, you know, for a good reason, not not it's not gone forever. Okay, um, but let's just say we have these five properties here that I have selected. I can just go ahead and scroll down, and I can actually show excluded. So if I wanted to, I can look at those properties that I gave a thumbs up on or thumbs down. Sorry. Um, I can give it a thumbs up if I think it's good to go uh, or just keep it there. Uh, but if you want, ever wanted to look back, you can just kind of look back on these here. Okay, but I, let's scroll up here. I've got those five properties that we gave a thumbs up on right there. The average price per square foot, which is located right here. Uh, and then giving you what the ARV would be worth for that property based on the average price per square foot. Okay, so it's doing it based on the data that you've selected right there. Um, not only that, but you can get from sales over to rentals pretty, pretty quickly. So if you take a look at our map right now, this is going to all show you only the sale data. And I can click here on rentals, and you'll actually see here uh, that you actually have now rental data. Your map switches and changes now to rental comps. So you can start doing the exact same thing as we did for solds, but now for rentals. Uh, and then once you're done with that, you can see here 
the included comps and what your average price per rent could be for that property. Okay, so pretty neat stuff. Uh, I do want to point out to you here on the top left, you have Texel Real Estate. That is the broker for Texas. Uh, we are currently only in select markets, but we are constantly, constantly expanding. Um, we can kind of discuss that. Uh, it's a lot of that's on our website, uh, but also reach out to us on support to just find out what type of markets we are currently in for uh, the comps and off-market leads. Um, so Texel Real Estate is a broker providing that data to you. So Propelio is a broker's website and every 15 minutes or so that data is being refreshed right here within the system. So it's not like it's old data. So it's just being checked constantly. Um, so you know you have um, up to date data. Okay, once we're done, we're just gonna go ahead and click save ARV here. Hit this X button here at the top right. Our ARV will now be saved here on the top right. And then our ARV will now be saved right here under the financials. Okay, so it just kind of saves that data there for you. Uh, so that you don't have to go back and look at it again. All right, so let's talk about, guys, these lead lists here. Lead lists are going to be the uh, off-market leads that are currently provided to you. Uh, right now, if we click on that, these are currently all the markets uh, that we currently cover for the off-market leads. Uh, but if we wanted to, we can go ahead and select our market right there. And I can go ahead and select right here at the very bottom. Let's just do the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Uh, you, get, you guys can select multiple other different markets. I'm gonna. These are the four types of leads that are being provided to you uh, daily. You have the appointment removal of trustees, probates, affidavit of heirship, and pre foreclosures. Uh, our support chat, which I'm going to talk about here in a little bit, has articles to be able to help you with these. Uh, just reach out to us, and we can send you those articles on what specifically they mean, and just a lot of different little things there, um, so we can help you out with that. Um, we have here on uh, the days of range. I can actually go back. Let's say, let's say since the 21st till today, uh, I can actually go ahead and download those leads if I need to be able to do that. Uh, if I download those leads, yeah, be sure to do that because if you don't download those leads, you won't get as much information as what you see right here. Okay, so uh, we have a way to be able to look here on the pre foreclosures where I can see the sale date also for when that property will go into auction, uh, the property address, the appraised value coming straight from um, the county, the original loan amount, uh, if that's provided in the document, the owner name, the mailing address, and the deed date, when that property will actually was actually purchased. Um, so all this data kind of changes a little bit, but the core data of contact information, property address, and owner name pretty much stays the same throughout the whole process. Okay? Um, Right, so if you see here, this data is not the full list. You have to be able to download those to be able to get more, okay? Uh, these lists are uploaded Monday through Friday, uh, anywhere from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, but uh, like I said, they are Monday through Friday, no, not weekends, and also holidays. So if there's a big holiday, more than likely that uh, those leads won't be published, okay? Let's talk about, guys, the deal alerts. Deal alerts allows you to find properties that are active on the MLS that could be potentially uh, under market value. Okay, so I'm going to show you kind of what I mean by that. I'm going to just create an alert, start selecting the market. Let's just say once again, we'll do the Dallas Fort Worth area. I'm going to select all the single family type homes within that market. And then I'm just going to start typing in what I'm looking for in my properties, right? So let's say anywhere from a two bed to a five one bath to four square footage, let's say 800 to let's go all the way up to 5,000. Uh, year built 1920s to let's just go 2017. We can start typing in as many counties as we like or just one. Does not matter here. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and do just four here for now. Uh, and then I'm going to select financials, let's say anywhere from a $20,000 home to let's just go all the way up to 500,000. Okay. Uh, Equity tab, I'm going to skip that just for now. Select the active status right there on the MLS. And you'll see here the matches, which is 4,296 matches. That is a heck of a lot of listings. Um, I personally do not want you to go through that many to see if they're all active list or listings for us to be able to work on. So what we've done is we've added this equity tab. Okay, This equity tab is not to be confused with the equity the homeowner has in the property. Okay, it's equity based on comps. So if I type in 20% there, what it's saying is it's 20% under market value. Okay, I don't have a dollar amount there. Uh, I'm just going to go based on the percentage. You guys can also put on, has to be 20%, but has to be greater than or like 20, at least 30,000 or something, right? 
but I'm going to just save it in tw at 20% here. Take a look at these matches. I've got 218 possible matches that are about 20% under market value based on comps. So let's go ahead and do here 30%. If I do 30%, now I've got 71 matches, but let's just drop it to let's just two more. Let's do 32%. I've got 56 potential matches there that I can look at. Um, I have the uh, alert name. I'm just going to do this a test for today. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Once we do that, we'll be taken straight over now to our uh, map view of where those properties are located at. I can scroll down here. I can click DOM to bring the more recent properties up towards the top. When I do that, here we have it, right? I've got one property for one day. It's been on the market for one day, listed for $50,000. Propeller is estimating this thing to be worth $154,000, right? So it's right there on Fort Worth. I can click Fort Worth on that link, and we can start instantly looking at uh, photos of this property. I'm going to zoom in here just so you guys can take a look at them. Um, I don't have very many pictures. I've only got three and they're all of the front of the house. So I can probably take a look here. This looks like uh, I might need some foundation, possibly. I don't know. Uh, I'm only looking at it from the front, so I can't really say anything here. But here we have a three-bedroom, one-bath home. We'll make great investment property, right? So they have a little snippet information there. You have the contact information to contact that agent here directly. So if you wanted to email them or call them, you can do that right there. Uh, once again, listed for 50000 Let's take a look at this 154. Propelli will actually give you data to support it. Uh, one right down the street here, sold for 135. Uh, it is a different type home for us, um, but it is looking very nice inside. It looks like it has been rehabbed and whatnot in there. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and actually, we can probably all agree that one comp is not gonna be enough for us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down here, click on show all solds. Once I do that, You'll actually be taken straight over now, and you'll see more comps to be able to support it. Uh, one of the things Propelio hid the rest of them is A, um, the lower cost, right? So this one's a lower cost than, than, um, than this property here. So we want to be able, be able to at least help you find the highest values first. Uh, and so that's kind of why I hid it. And then it hid this other one here for 165, really because, probably because it just didn't seem comparable at all, right? So if we look at it, uh, it might not be as comparable as it is. Uh, it's a way totally different home. So, uh, but we can co we can totally just start looking at this data here. If we're interested in it and want to kind of find a little bit more data, just click Add here as a lead, and then click View Lead, and it'll take us straight now over to our lead management page, to where we can take a look at it here, and we can start running our own CMA to see what other stuff is out in that market. So then now you can go ahead and just expand it. Let's say until nine months instead of six. Hit search and maybe see what other results come up and we can determine right there, okay? So uh, we'll let you guys decide up to that one if you think that's a good deal there. Uh, but what I'll do also uh, is I just click back to dashboard. I wanna kinda point out to you this little bubble here. Um, this is our chat support bubble there. If we click on that right there, uh, there's a few things that you can do right here on this screen. Uh, you can start a new conversation with our team. Uh, right now our response rate is under five minutes. Uh, you can see that there anytime when you are uh, looking to click on that button. Uh, you can start a conversation with us. You have find answers quickly. Um, these are help articles. So if you need help, let's say with deal alerts, right? Uh, just go ahead and search it right there. It'll actually give you every article for that. You can click on those and it'll actually give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to be able um, to do deal alerts uh, if need be, right? So there's a bunch of articles there that we can help you with. And then obviously with a live demo, you guys can select this on the live demo presentation there. Uh, we are here to be able to help um, for that if you want to take another one there or have any of your team members take it. Um, that's also available. Okay. Uh, I do want to point out this new conversation. If you click on that right there, uh, we I would like you guys to type in demo half. Okay. Uh, when you guys get a second uh, or if you do start a trial with us or do have an account with us, uh, write down demo half with for me either on your phone or on a piece of paper, uh, I want you to send it to the chat support line. Uh, if you do that, I'll, uh, what we'll go ahead and do for you is we'll go ahead and give you 50% off uh, the first month within Propelio, just as a way of saying thank you. Uh, we want to be able to just appreciate you and give you that because we feel like these live demos are really, really important. Uh, so we want to make sure that you guys get uh, credit for that. So we'll want to give you 50% off there for the first month just by typing in demo half right there in the chat support. It won't go anywhere else, 
but they're in the chat support, okay? All righty. Um, let's talk about websites, guys, as we can uh, almost finish wrapping up here. With websites, you guys can now build and create your own website for no additional cost. I say website, but technically website should have an S at the end of it because it's websites, because you can build more than one website for no additional cost. Okay, let me show you how easy it is to build your own website. We'll go and create it right here. We're going to put a site name. Let's just say I buy homes now. Let's just say that is my site name. Okay, let's just say that's my company name. Phone number, let's just do um, 123, 123, 1234. Beautiful phone number. Let's say primary market of, let's just say, Dallas. And let's just say the state of Arizona. Okay, just to, um, just to mess around there. We're going to go and create it. Within 5 to 15 seconds or so, Propelio is now going to build and host your own website. Okay, so we can go and visit that site right here. And it'll take us straight over now to our new website that we have just built. It says call now with our phone number. I buy homes now and then sell your house fast in Dallas. We buy houses in Arizona in any condition. Okay, so it is now preloaded your information throughout this entire uh, site. Okay, so it already has a lot of content already built in it. Uh, and you do have different tabs that you can click on uh, for your website. But the more specifically, get a cash offer. So if your seller wants to be able to get a cash offer for their website or through their website, they can click on that right there. Uh, they can type in right here a property address, Hillcrest Drive in Rowlett, right? I'm going to select it. They can type in their phone number and they can also type in their email. Once they do that, they can get a cash offer. It'll say, hey, thanks. We'll get in touch with you shortly, right? Uh, we're going to go ahead and go back over to our website here. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this site here so you guys can see what happened. Uh, a few things to note. You have visitors here. This is how many visitors have actually been visiting your website on a daily basis there. And then conversions. How many people actually submitted things through your website, right? Uh, and then you'll actually see here a message that came from I Buy Homes Now, an email, phone number, and address that was just submitted. We can click this checkbox right here, click Create Lead, and then click view lead and it'll take you straight now over to your lead management page with your contact information that was added and then click run CMA to start running comps on this property instantly. Okay, so we, what we have done is we've streamlined straight from the websites over to your lead list in just a matter of seconds there. Okay, so we'll go back over to our websites here. Um, once again, like I said, you can build multiple websites for no additional cost. These are all websites that I have built. Uh, and then the domain is always the big part, uh, how people can reach your domain. So if you take a look, uh, right now it says sites.propelio.com. Uh, that is probably not a good way for people to get to your website. You can do one or two things. You can purchase your domains right here. So you can purchase your domain right there. I'm just going to go ahead and type in this domain here and see if that is available. Right? Dot com. Hit search. And we'll see here, unfortunately, that domain is not available, but maybe if I type in 123ibuyhomesnow.com, uh, we'll see here if it's searching, 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 uh, and it should be able to come up whether it is available or not. Uh, right there it is, right? So it, it is available. We can actually purchase that. That is an additional cost there, but that's only a year, and that's anywhere from like 8 to $20. Really just depends on the domain name. Um, but you can purchase that and that is a year and that is to have your presence online. Okay. Um, you can always transfer your domain. So if you wanted to be able to transfer your domain from, let's say GoDaddy and just have it into Propelio permanently, you can do that there also. Um, but also we also have a C name transfer. So if you're any about the technical side of websites, um, you can set the custom domain just by going right here under the custom domain side. Uh, and then once we do that, once it loads up here, you'll actually see uh, ways that you can transfer your domain over from, let's say, GoDaddy, Google, Namecheap, anything like that um, to be able to do. Um, as that's loading, you can actually see here you have social media links. So if you wanted to tie your social media pages uh, to here, you can do that also. Uh, custom scripts. If you wanted to, if you're really into scripts with websites, you can paste those scripts right here and it'll take care of that. Um, well, while that continues to load, we know what we'll do. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, look at our other websites here. If I click on websites, like I said, it'll take you back over to that. Uh, let's look at one I've already built, I Buy Homes in Texas. 
Uh, we can edit the content for those websites. So if you click content right here, whoop, uh, I've got that little error there. We'll go back and then just move forward with it. I'll hit content here. Uh, if that error does come up, we're still working on getting that fixed there. So once you get that, you'll actually see here now the back end of all your websites. So you can customize all of your websites from right here, or, or this specific website from right here. You can edit it right there. You can even edit the design. So if you clicked on the design part, you can go in, start changing the logo and all that fun stuff right here, adding a logo, colors, widgets, anything like that to your website. So it's all available to you at your fingertips, uh, which is super, super awesome. Uh, you don't have to make it all the same and keep it the same, which is even better. Um, so let's go over to the settings tab, see if my domain, so yeah, so this is how the, the domain management is. So you can manage outside Propelio, type in your C name, start working at it from here, changing those DNS records. Um, if that's too technical, don't worry about it. Reach out to us on support. If you uh, uh, don't have a domain yet, my suggestion would just be to buy it right there within the websites at the very, very bottom here. All right. So thank you guys so much for joining the, this live demo or uh, this demo with me uh, within Propelio. We will talk to you guys later. Reach out to us on support if you have any other questions. Uh, we'll see you soon.